The glucoregulatory hormones called incretins are part of an endogenous system involved in the physiologic regulation of glucose homeostasis. GLP-1, or glucagon-like peptide 1, and GIP, or glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide, are released by the intestine throughout the day, and levels are increased in response to a meal. Active incretins help increase insulin synthesis and insulin release from pancreatic beta cells, particularly when blood glucose levels are elevated. In addition, active GLP-1 helps suppress glucagon release from pancreatic alpha cells, leading to decreased hepatic glucose production. These effects do not occur when blood glucose levels are low. Active incretins help the body respond to changes in glucose levels throughout the day. The activity of incretins is limited by the enzyme DPP4, or dipeptidyl peptidase 4, which rapidly degrades active incretins. In patients with type 2 diabetes, the incretin effect is diminished. Genuvia, or citagliptin, is the first in the class of treatments for type 2 diabetes called DPP-4 inhibitors. Genuvia is indicated as monotherapy to improve glycemic control in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Genuvia should not be used in patients with type 1 diabetes or for the treatment of diabetic ketoacidosis. As you will see, Genuvia helps address two major pathophysiologic defects of type 2 diabetes beta cell dysfunction, and hepatic glucose overproduction. Genuvia blocks DPP-4, slowing the inactivation of incretin hormones. Genuvia does not inhibit the related enzymes DPP-8 and DPP-9 in vitro at concentrations approximating those from therapeutic doses. Inhibition of DPP-4 activity by Genuvia increases plasma concentrations of active intact GLP-1 and GIP in patients with type 2 diabetes. By increasing and prolonging active incretin levels, Genuvia increases insulin release and decreases glucagon levels in the circulation in a glucose-dependent manner. In clinical studies, the overall incidence of hypoglycemia was similar to placebo. Inhibition of DPP-4 enzyme activity with Genuvia results in increased responsiveness of insulin release to glucose, leading to higher C-peptide and insulin concentrations. Genuvia improves the pro-insulin to insulin ratio, indicating improved insulin synthesis and release from beta cells. Genuvia also improves homo-beta, indicating improved fasting insulin secretion. Via its effects on GLP-1 and GIP, Genuvia significantly improves key measures of both beta cell and alpha cell responsiveness to glucose. Increased insulin release results in improved glucose utilization in the body, and decreased glucagon release results in decreased hepatic glucose production as a result of reductions in both gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. Thus, Genuvia targets two of the major pathophysiologic defects in type 2 diabetes, beta cell dysfunction and hepatic glucose overproduction. Genuvia is also indicated to improve glycemic control in combination with metformin or a thiazolidinedione in patients with type 2 diabetes when the single agent alone, with diet and exercise, does not provide adequate glycemic control. Metformin and TZDs improve insulin sensitivity. In addition, they decrease hepatic glucose production. Because of their complementary mechanisms of action, the combination of Genuvia with one of these agents targets all three major pathophysiologic defects of type 2 diabetes. The use of Genuvia in combination with medications known to cause hypoglycemia, such as sulfonylureas or insulin, has not been adequately studied. Genuvia helps control glucose without weight gain and with a low rate of gastrointestinal disturbances. A single dose of Genuvia sustains powerful DPP-4 inhibition for a full 24 hours, 
As a result, Junuvia helps lower A1C through combined reductions in both postprandial glucose and fasting plasma glucose throughout the day. The recommended dose of Genuvia is 100 milligrams once daily, with or without food. For patients with severe renal insufficiency or with ESRD requiring hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis, the dose of Genuvia is 25 milligrams once daily. Because there is a need for dose adjustment, assessment of renal function is recommended prior to initiation of Genuvia and periodically thereafter. As a selective inhibitor of DPP-4, Genuvia enhances physiologic control of blood glucose levels, helping to improve glycemic control in patients with type 2 diabetes. For patients with severe renal insufficiency, creatinine clearance less than 30 milliliters per minute, approximately corresponding to serum creatinine levels of greater than 3.0 milligrams per deciliter in men, and greater than 2.5 milligrams per deciliter in women, or with ESRD requiring hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis, the dose of Genuvia is 25 milligrams once daily. A dosage adjustment is recommended in patients with moderate or severe renal insufficiency or with ESRD requiring hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. The adverse reactions, regardless of investigator assessment of causality, in greater than or equal to 5% of patients treated with Genuvia, and more commonly than in patients treated with placebo, were upper respiratory tract infection, nasopharyngitis, and headache. The incidence of selected gastrointestinal adverse reactions in patients treated with Genuvia was as follows. Abdominal pain, Genuvia 100 mg, 2.3%, placebo 2.1%. Nausea, 1.4% versus 0.6%, and diarrhea, 3.0% versus 2.3%. Please read full prescribing information available at this exhibit.